Jack, so back at Stanley Park, it's been a few weeks now back in training. How are you feeling? Uh, it's good. It's, it's nice to be back um, in small groups training. Uh, it's good to see the boys, albeit you're not kind of seeing everyone. You can see them from a distance, like some of the lads training behind us. But, you know, it's, it's nice to be back in the environment um, and hopefully heading in the right direction to getting close to playing. And obviously lockdown took a lot of time to get used to for a lot of people. Just how different was it training from home in, in small groups where you could compared to being here with the rest of the lads? Uh, very fortunate where I was that, um, you know, there's a collection of us that live together, so we kind of were fairly sorted with, with gym equipment. Thank, thank God to Jack Noel, who built a gym in his garage, which worked out perfectly. So we, we kind of had that to share um, between us, which was very, very handy. Kept a little bit of routine in our lives. Um, and yeah, it, it's just a bit weird, isn't it, being away, being away from this for so long. Um, nice to obviously spend time with the kids. I'm saying nice because I have to. Um, no, it was generally nice, but um, yeah, it's just it's just nice to be back to a bit of normality coming back in it. Talking of normality, it is obviously different circumstances, and we have had some a lot of changes. You know, the likes of Nick White and Sam Hill leaving, for example. New boys like Johnny Gray coming in this week. So. Just how have you seen them settle in and how different has it been to a normal kind of pre-season where you kind of get to know the guys? Very weird. Uh, you know, never happened before in terms of boys leaving midway through the season. You know, you're saying about lads leaving like Whitey and, and Kevin Hilly and that. It's going to be even weirder than the fact that we could end up playing against them, you know, especially Hilly up at Sale, who were going well in the league, could end up playing them with, against him in the latter end of the se um, season. So. Very, very weird that it will be to come across them and then lads that are coming in. I haven't really crossed paths with any of the boys yet. Um, said kind of hello from afar. But I'm, I'm sure they'll be, you know, getting a de decent taste of things now. The, the sessions we're doing are fairly tough, so they'll be getting the teeth into it straight away and, and hopefully in, enjoying the hard work. Does that add a little bit of extra motivation for some guys with other new guys coming in, potential, you know, pushing for places and stuff like that? Yeah, and a lot of the stuff we're, we're doing out on the conditioning circuits um, and on the skill stuff we're doing on, on the top pitch as well, there's a lot of like little competitions in there, and that's kind of the best way to, to bring out standards because everyone's very competitive, that's why we're here. Um, everyone wants to win, even if it's a little game. You know, boys want to compete and, and do the best, so it's, it's definitely a, a good way to drive the standards. And obviously, we're, it's not been confirmed yet, but we're potentially just over a month away from the first game. What does that look like from a mindset point of view? How important is that to hit the ground running? Oh, huge, because as far as I know, I think we're going to be kind of straight back into those games. It's not like a, when, you, when you start a regular season, you can build yourself into you know, a couple minutes in a pre-season game and then a couple more minutes the next game. Um, it's going to be straight into it. So it's just making sure you do get the most out of these sessions now. Um, you know, we, had a, we had a long time where we were getting sent programs to do in the, in the time away from the club. Um, you know, and, and boys were kind of doing stuff off their own back as well, just because we're all aware that it's going to take a lot, that the levels that we play at, you know, you, you have to be fit, you have to be ready to go, so it's, it's just making sure we're back in perfect condition. And people are putting in kind of comparisons of what we've seen in the media about, you know, what Liverpool have done coming back in top of the league, and rugby is a lot different, you know, we have to play for that home semi-final potentially and then going on to that final. With regards to that, obviously we, we finished on such good uh, form, didn't we? So trying to get back to that must be really key for you and the team. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's just going to be one that we're just going to have to have the level of trust within the team, but also it's going to require the level of effort. Um, you know, winning performances don't just happen. It's, it's when everything clicks well, but when everything clicks well because boys are working so hard at it. And it's making sure that we're aware of what that actually takes. It's not just going to happen. It's making sure you go out there and, and commit to making things happen on the pitch. So it's, it's definitely got to start with what we're doing here in training. And finally, with the run into the end of the season, obviously it's going to look a lot different here at Sandy Park with no fans. Just how do you go about looking at that? Obviously, they are a massive thing and they do help in them home games here and the big games. Yeah, it's going to be really weird, that. Uh, playing without fans will be extremely odd and I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with it because we haven't had to deal with it before. Um, we've played a few kind of little internal games here um, and that's odd. It's just odd not having that extra buzz around the stadium. Um, but it's just making sure we as players kind of create that buzz internally in our small group. But yeah, you definitely feed off the, the, the energy the fans bring. It, like particularly 20 minutes of the game when you realise you're knackered already. Um, you know, that's where the fans are hugely important. And I think, you know, that's, that's why home, home advantage is huge because you do feed off the buzz of the fans. You do, you do get that extra kind of push of energy, that extra surge of energy. So yeah, can't tell the answer to that until we, until we play without no fans. But 
I already think it's going to be strange.